Welcome back to my channel. So Eula Hair sent me some bundles, some 613 bundles. This is my first time working with this company and I can tell you that these 613 bundles are hella soft and I just ordered some hair from them because I love how these 613 bundles felt and acted. So um, this is what the packaging looks like. I got three 28 inch bundles and a 4x4 four four closure and they sent me these cute little retro little butterfly clips. Y'all remember these back in the day? I'm that old. Like you know like I used to wear those when I was little. Okay so um, I am going to go ahead and make this wig into a um, with this hair into a wig and then we're just going to go jump right into coloring. So this is what my wig looks like after I made it. Now, usually if I was gonna leave my hair blonde, I would use a blonde a mesh cap. But because I was going teal, um, the dark didn't really matter to me. Um, so you really couldn't tell anything. But if I was doing blonde, I would definitely have a blonde mesh cap underneath there as well so and then I did do the glueless method and I wanted to use an elastic band and these are the colors that I'm gonna use I am using aquamarine from Adore that lime green from Kiss and emerald from Kiss and you also gonna see me use a little bit of black from Adore as well so you're gonna need two of each bottle so I am going to put two bottles of Aquamarine into my bucket. I'm going to put a full bottle of Emerald from Kiss. Um, I really don't like that particular brand of Kiss because that color does transfer. And I'm going to do a half a bottle of the Lime Light, or I think that's what it's called, Lime Light. And then I'm going to do maybe like a quarter of black. And I'm going to mix everything together and it's going to give me the color that I want. Now on camera... It doesn't come off green, but my hair is definitely like greenish blue. It has a green undertone to it. So you guys never you seen me do this, but I'm gonna take some Vaseline that I got from the 99 cent store and I'm going to put it on my lace. And this is going to protect my lace. I'm gonna do a whole detailed video on this, but this is how I save my lace from dyeing it. A lot of people be like, oh, you can just spray got to be on there. No, because as soon as got to be, that free spray hit water, it's going to dissolve. You want something, especially if you watercolor, that's going to stay put a little longer than what got to be does. So I have a whole video, I'm gonna have a whole video of discussing, you know, that situation. So I'm just putting some Vaseline on my lace and I put it underneath and as well on the excessive lace that's out because you know I'm gonna go in and plug it and I don't know how much lace I'm gonna need and this is my lovely color it was so pretty like I love the color and how it came out so basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in and do my um, closure first and the reason why I did that was because I didn't want blue knots and I wanted my knots to be blonde and yes of course you could go in with like some color remover or some bleach I would not suggest bleach because it's already 613 hair but I would suggest color remover to get those knots back to blonde but if you just do it neatly you won't have to do all of that so I am going to go in with my painter's brush well not painter's brush but like my application brush and I am going to do my knots um, and I am going to uh, part it into small sections and just make sure that it is coated thoroughly and because I have that Vaseline on there it's also going to protect the knots a bit and yes and it's definitely going to protect the lace and after I do that I'm going to pour the contents that's in the bucket into the my warm uh, hot tap water and I am going to watercolor the rest of the hair.
Although we are using Vaseline, that does not mean that you want to be sloppy and messy. Try to be as neat as you can because it's still hair dye and you might miss places when you're putting the hair of uh, the Vaseline on your lace. Oh, and Vaseline, a lot of people say, oh, it's hard to get off. If you rinse your hair with hot water from the sink and shampoo it at least twice, that Vaseline will be off of your lace. Hot water and shampoo, it'll come directly off. If you want it to come off quicker, use dishwashing soap, sis. But mind you, the more you wash it, the more the color of your uh, hair is gonna probably uh, bleed out because it's hot water. So you wanna get that process done fast, but I feel like the Vaseline is the most effective way as to protecting my lace because my lace was actually really good after I um, did this process. So after the um, roots is in the closure is dyed, I am going to take half of the dye that's in my bucket and put it into hot um, sink water. Um, that's all I need and mix it thoroughly and I am going to dip my wig in there. Now you're going to see me keep dipping it in there and that's because I want it to be evenly coated. I don't want to have lighter areas and darker areas. If if anything, my roots is going to be a little bit darker because when you do watercolor, you're diluting the color. And so because I hand put that color on there, it's going to be a tad bit darker and I don't mind that. I actually like that. Um, so I am not going to let my lace touch that water at all. And I am just going to massage that hair into that color. Um, as you can see there's still some lighter and darker areas so I'm gonna go in and pour the remainder of that color into that water mix it on up and continuously dip that hair into that water so everything could be evenly coated <laughs> And what I usually do is like I'll take a clip and I'll clip the lace onto the side of the bucket and just let the hair sit in there for about five minutes and then it'll be perfect. And after that, I'll just go in and style the hair to my liking. I just decided that I want a straight hair and so I went in with my flat iron. Everybody asks me about this flat iron. I will link it down below for you guys. Um, and I'm just going to flat iron and press out my hair and that's about it. Um, Eula, I enjoyed working with this hair. It's was amazing and it was so soft and I can't wait till I get my new order and I am going to do a, 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 a review and another demonstration on the new hair just to see if everything is coat 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 like everything is matching exactly how I got it from being having reviewed hair versus me paying for hair so we're just going to do you know a, a comparison video about that and yeah and just see if my subscribers are going to get the same type of quality that i get versus buying versus getting it for review okay so yes i love this color would you guys wear this color actually you guys really love this color as well too so if you guys decide to recreate this color and do the same color mixture that i did two bottles of aquamarine one whole bottle of emerald um and then half a bottle of limelight and a quarter of black you will get this color until next time bye best friends <laughs>